If you wanna have your own affiliates that promote and sell your courses and products and they just get a small commission for referring someone to your business, you can set that up inside of Kajabi. And today I'm gonna take you behind the scenes inside of the platform to show you how simple it is to set up affiliates inside Kajabi. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me, where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account, and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free, and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi, or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To get started setting up affiliates in Kajabi, we'll go over to the sales tab and then go down to the affiliates tab. From here, you're going to have this little dashboard that shows you some analytics, uh, important things to consider. You have your clicks, form submissions, conversions, and the conversion rate from your different affiliates. Down here, you'll have an affiliate signup link and a login link, which you can copy and paste into email sequences, um, you can put it into an email broadcast to your list. Uh, you can do a lot of different things with these links. You can even put it onto a sales page where you run a promotion uh, to try and enroll people to become affiliates, or you can put these links inside of your online course halfway through. We'll say, it's like, if, hey, if you're getting a lot of value from this, you can actually be an affiliate and get a certain percentage commission just by referring people to this program, which helps you, it helps them, it helps everyone. So that's different ways that you can kind of use these affiliate links. But let's look a little bit deeper inside of here. We have our outline, users, which we can click right here. And this is where you're gonna see your different affiliates. You can always search people by name. Uh, you can have their name, email, PayPal email. This is something about um, affiliates, as far as I know, is that you only use PayPal to pay people out. Okay, so something to consider if you don't like PayPal, maybe it's not the best option for you. At the top, you can export uh, all your different affiliates, put them into a Google Sheet or something like that. You can also invite different affiliates as well. And as it says here, you can invite anyone to sign up as an affiliate, to send an invitation email, paste the recipient's name and email as a comma separated value, a CSV, like a CSV file, into the form. Invitations will expire after 72 hours. So once you put in that information, you can hit invite. The next tab we have is the commission setup. So when you click on this, you're gonna see all the different offers that you have. If it's an online course or a coaching program, um, if you want to give people a certain percentage of you know, a sale that you make for referring people for a coaching program, you can do that as well, okay? Offers are unlimited. You can have a coaching program like I do in my business where I don't host it in Kajabi. I host my courses inside of Kajabi and I do my main business operations. But when it comes to actually like working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I use Zoom. But I can still have an offer that has a checkout page for people to pay through Kajabi. And I just kind of set some other stuff on, on the back end when I actually work with them. But I could totally, because I have the offer, have my clients, if they had a great experience, refer people. And then I can send them this and then my, they're basically like my affiliates. They get a small percentage for referring someone to me, okay? So once you have your offers all set up, you can scroll through, you'll see all the different types of offers you have. And we'll just say um, the Epic mini course. You know, you can click on any one of these. All of them you can turn on, the commission. Um, and it's not gonna be active until you turn on this switch. Once you turn this on, you can decide what percentage of a commission you're gonna send to people. Now, if you are new to affiliates, what I've learned, I don't personally do affiliates. 
What I've learned is that typically affiliates are anywhere from five up to 30%, sometimes even 50%. Like I'll give you half the amount that I make. It depends on the size of your product. It depends on your profit margins, et cetera. It's an executive decision that you need to make, but just know there is a fine balance between having it be a high enough commission where people actually want to actively send you referrals because they want that commission, like 30% is a pretty generous commission. And if you went down to like 10%, that's not as motivating for the affiliate, but it's great for you because it's less money that you have to give out. You get to keep more as the business owner. So it's really up to you to find that percentage that's generous for people, that it motivates them to actually send people your way and hopefully get their affiliate commission by this person signing up for your program or course or whatever it is, and where you can actually keep enough money to keep your business going. So we'll just say for this example, we'll go 20%, but you can always use these little arrows if you wanna get more detailed or just type it in and then we'll hit save. The next tab we have is the share links. So we'll click here and then from here, you can create a new affiliate link. From here, we're going to provide a name and URL for this affiliate link to redirect to. This shareable link will be accessible to every affiliate on your site and contain their unique tracking. So you get to track all the information. If you are redirecting to an offer checkout page, only offers with enabled affiliate commission will show up. So that was that last step that we did where we turned on the commission. If you turn on every single offer and decided on the percentage for every single offer that you have, you wouldn't really have to worry about this. From here, we can create a name and it could be like the course name affiliate program or something like that, or become an affiliate for whatever the product name is. And then you can decide here if you want to redirect them to a URL, to a landing page or to an offer checkout page. So the two options that you really have is you can either send someone to an offer checkout page and you can pick whatever the offer is. This is the only one that I set up with an affiliate commission. So that's the only one that's gonna show up, the Epic Mini Course. So I can click on that. The other option is if I have a sales page for the Epic Mini Course, then when people talk about your product, they can say, hey, here's the link. And it sends them over to that, uh, that one sales page for, in this case, the Epic Mini Course. So the two options that I'd recommend is either send people to the sales page so they can read what they're getting themselves into or just send them straight to the checkout page. It's totally up to you. You can either pick a landing page if you want or you can always just copy and paste the URL to the sales page. For now, I'm just gonna keep it offered to the checkout page, we'll hit save. So once you have your shareable link set up, this is what you're gonna see, the name of, I just put Epic Mini Course Affiliate and then the type, it's gonna go to an offer checkout page link uh, for the Epic Mini Course. And then it shows you the clicks that you're gonna have as well. The next tab is the transactions. There's no official transactions yet, but it's just because I haven't done any, you know, in, in terms of affiliates. So this will give you all the data you need for that. And then there's announcements, exports as well. And then over here we have settings. So this is kind of an important place to play around with are the various settings of how you want your affiliate program to work. You can decide if you wanna enable self registrations where people can sign up as an affiliate without first receiving an invitation email. It's totally up to you. You can click that on or off. Uh, referral conversion window, this is pretty important. Select how long a customer has to make a purchase after clicking an affiliate link before the referral is no longer credited. So someone could refer someone to your business and then after 30 days, if that person decides to pay for your product, the person that referred the other person who is your affiliate will not get a commission unless the person they referred to buys in that 30 day window. But you can do 30 days, 60 days or 90 days. So this kind of entices people and I would definitely let your affiliates know about this uh, conversion window. Say, hey, you have 30 days to actually have someone make a sale if you refer them over to me. It's pretty important for the affiliate to know so they're not sending people your way and being like, how come I'm never getting any commissions? You know, I know this person signed up to work with you. They're a friend of mine, whatever. But that's up for you to decide. You can also add affiliate coupon codes. Uh, as the description says, each affiliate will receive access to a personalized coupon code to share with people. The codes can only be applied to offers with enabled commission like we had done for the Epic Mini course. You can edit any code in the affiliate's profile. Down here, you can create an affiliate logo. So let's say that I had a thumbnail for 
the Epic mini course and across it, I just wrote affiliate program or something like that. It doesn't need to be crazy complicated, but that helps you distinguish and other people as well that it is the affiliate uh, program. And one thing to note when you're creating any sort of design inside of Kajabi, they always give you recommended dimension uh, sizes. So 640 by 640. What I do is I open up Canva, I hit create new design, unless I already have that design size saved. And I just put 640 by 640. And I know that as I design it, it's going to perfectly fit the affiliate logo size. Next, we have the affiliate site pages. This is a bit more of what your affiliate uh, sign up and login pages say. Okay, we'll say sign up to be an affiliate and then underneath sign up button. What do you want the button to say? We'll say that. And then down here we have the login. So your affiliates will use this page to log in and automatically it just says log in to the affiliate portal. We'll also open up this page and I'll show you just what they look like. So this is the sign up to be an affiliate uh, page that people are going to land on when they're deciding to be an affiliate for your program. Again, this is that link that we had in the beginning that said, like, use this link to sign up or use this link to log in. And you can kind of use those links however you want. You can put them inside of a course, inside of an email sequence, an email broadcast, whatever you want. But this is what the page is going to look like. Name, email, create password, and then their PayPal email. That's pretty important because that's how Kajabi pays out your affiliates is through PayPal. Then we have the affiliate login portal. This is what it's going to look like. Again, this text was over here where it says log into the affiliate portal. You can change up that text, but this is what it's going to look like uh, as well as the sign up to be an affiliate. Then down below, we have the welcome email. So this email will be sent out to people once they have signed up to be an affiliate. They've officially gone through the sign up page. Now they're an affiliate. And this is the automated email that they send, but you can totally customize it. And then you can preview the welcome email as well. Once you have all of your settings, taken care of. They're the way that you like it. You can hit save. If you're still on the fence about trying out Kajabi, the bottom line is you just need to try it, which is why I'm providing you as an affiliate for Kajabi myself that you get a 30 day free trial instead of a 14 day free trial. When you use my link, profityournowledge.com slash Kajabi, no extra cost to you whatsoever compared to if you went through Kajabi's main website, it's all the same. The only difference is that I get a small commission from Kajabi for referring someone to them. So you'll get a 30 day free trial to play with the platform. I'm also going to give you instant access to a course I made called Kajabi Kickstart. Walks you through how to set up and launch your business for success in Kajabi in that first 30 days. And then inside of Kajabi Kickstart, there's a link where you can book a one-to-one -one coaching call with me and I'll answer any questions you have about Kajabi marketing, sales, your business, life, whatever it is, we get to sit down and I'm there to support you in achieving your goals. The link is down in the description or again, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. And that's all there is to setting up affiliates inside of Kajabi so people can promote your products and you just automatically send them a little commission for referring people to your business. Let me know in a comment below. What do you like? What do you dislike? What do you feel confused about? What do you sold on when it comes to having your own affiliates for your own programs and products using Kajabi? I would love to hear your thoughts about this feature. I think it's really cool. I think down the road, I'll probably explore it myself with my own programs and products. But for now, it's not really high on my priority list. I hope this was helpful, insightful, and eye-opening for you, and I will see you in the next one.